charging your JetSurf petrol board. Hi, I'm Rui from JetSurf and I'm going to show you how to charge your petrol JetSurf board. We've got the board on the stand, nice and flat so we can get to the charging connector and connect it to the charger. In your toolkit for your JetSurf board you'll find a charger and a couple of leads with different plugs on depending on where you are in the world. These plugs just plug into the charger with the point there and then the other end of the charger has the socket that goes into the board. So I'm going to show you where the charge lead is in the board. It's just above the starter motor under where the oil point is for the main bearing of the board. Lean your hand in there and you undo the clip by pushing on the clip on one side and pull it out. Now the charging circuit always has a red cable tie on so that everyone knows that it's for the charging circuit. It will have a female plug with two pinholes, square bottom and a round top to match the one on the charger. If you pull out the wrong plug, the charger socket won't fit. So we are now going to plug the charger in to the socket on the board. Again, that has only one way that it can go in. So push it into the clicks and then we're going to plug our charger into the wall and turn the power on. Once the charger has been turned on at the socket, there will be a red light show on the charger and that will stay illuminated red until the board has finished charging and it turns the light to green. The board, if it is a low in, in battery, it will do a balance charge itself. It has a, a process inside the ICU that allows it to charge according to the state of the battery. So don't worry if it takes longer than you think it should to charge. It will charge up once the light is green. You can then unplug the socket from the wall, turn the power off, unplug the clip on the charger and put it back in the socket where it lived. And that is how you charge your JetSurf petrol board.